Nehemiah chapter 7, Joel chapter 2, and 2 Thessalonians chapters 1 and 2. Reading with you, Nehemiah chapter 7. Now it came to pass, when the wall was built, and I had set up the doors, and the porters, and the singers, and the Levites were appointed, that I gave my brother Hanani and Hananiah, the ruler of the palace, charge over Jerusalem. For he was a faithful man and feared God above many. And I said unto them, let not the gates of Jerusalem be opened until the sun be hot. And while they stand by, let them shut the doors and bar them and appoint watchers of the inhabitants of Jerusalem every one in his watch and every one to be over against his house. Now the city was large and great, but the people were few therein and the houses were not builded. And my God put into mine heart to gather together the nobles and the rulers and the people that they might be reckoned by genealogy. And I found a register of the genealogy of them which came up at the first and found written therein. These are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those that had been carried away whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had carried away and came again to Jerusalem and to Judah every one unto his city, who came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Azariah, Ramiah, Nahamani, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispereth, Bigvei, Nehem, Bana. The number, I say, of the men of the people of Israel was this. The children of Parosh, 2,172 and two. Of the children of Shephatiah, 372. The children of Ara, 650 and two. The children of Pahath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,818. The children of Elam, 1,250 and four. The children of Zatu, 840 and 5. The children of Zakai, 703 score. The children of Binuai, 648. Of the children of Bebai, 628. The children of Asgard, 2320 and 2. The children of Adokam, 603 score and 7. The children of Bigvai, Two thousand three score and seven. The children of Adin, six hundred fifty and five. The children of Atter of Hezekiah, ninety and eight. The children of Hashem, three hundred twenty and eight. The children of Bezai, three hundred twenty and four. The children of Harif, one hundred and twelve. The children of Gibeon, ninety and five. The men of Bethlehem and Netatoth, an hundred four score and eight. The men of Anathoth, an hundred twenty and eight. The men of Bithraim, Veth, forty and two. The men of Kirjath Jerim, Chifera, and Beroth, seven hundred forty and three. The men of Rama and Geba, six hundred twenty and one. The men of Mishmash, an hundred and twenty and two. The men of Bethel and Ai, an hundred twenty and three. The men of the other Nebo, fifty and two. The children of the other Elam, a thousand two hundred fifty and four. The children of Harim, three hundred and twenty. The children of Jericho, 340 and 5. The children of Lod, Hadid and Ono, 721. 
the children of Sena, 3,930. The priests, the children of Jedi, of the house of Jeshua, 970 and three. The children of Immer, 1,050 and two. The children of Pasha, 1,240 and seven. The children of Harim, 1,017. The Levites, the children of Jeshua, of Kedmiel, and of the children of Hodava, 70 and 4. The singers, the children of Asaph, 140 and 8. The porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Atter, the children of Talman, the children of Akab, the children of Haktida, the children of Shobai, 130 and 8. The Nethanims, the children of Ziha, the children of Hashupa, the children of Taboath, the children of Keros, the children of Sia, the children of Padon, the children of Lebanon, the children of Hagaba, the children of Shalmai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gidiel, the children of Haha, Gaha, the children of Rei, the children of Rezin, the children of Tekoda, the children of Gazim, the children of Uzza, the children of Fasia, the children of Besai, the children of Menunim, the children of Nephesinim, the children of Bakbuk, the children of Hakfa, the children of Harfa, the children of Basilith, the children of Mahida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Tama, the children of Nezia, the children of Hatifa, the children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotei, the children of Sophitha, the children of Perida, the children of Jaela, the children of Darkon, the children of Gideel, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hatil, the children of Pochithrath, of Zebaim, the children of Ammon, all the Nethanims and the children of Solomon's servants were 392. And these were they which went up also from Telmela, Telharasha, Kerab, Adon, and Immer, but they could not show their father's house nor their seed whether they were of Israel. The children of Dolalai, the children of Tobai, the children of Nekoda, 640 and two. And the priests, the children of Hobai, the children of Koz, the children of Balzilei, which took one of the daughters of Barzillai, the Gileadite, to wife, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but it was not found. Therefore were they as polluted. But from the priesthood, put from the priesthood, and the Tersh Hasha said unto them that they should not eat of the most holy things till there stood up a priest with Urim and Thummim. The whole congregation together was 40 and 2,303 score beside their manservants and their maidservants of whom there were 7,330 and seven, and they had 240 and five singing men and singing women. Their horses, 730 and six, their mules, 240 and five, their camels, 430 and five, 6,720 asses, and some of their chief of the fathers gave unto the work. The Tirshatha gave to the treasure a thousand drams of gold, fifty basins, five hundred and thirty priests' garments, 
and some of the chiefs of the fathers gave to the treasure of the work 20,000 drams of gold and 2,200 pound of silver. And that which the rest of the people gave was 20,000 drams of gold and 2,000 pound of silver and three score and seven priest garments. So the priests and the Levites and the porters and the singers and some of the people and the Nethanims and all Israel dwelt in their cities. And when the seventh month came, the children of Israel were in their cities. Joel and chapter 2. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong. There hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they he leap, like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth and the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Before their face, the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march everyone on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path and when they fall upon the sword they shall not be wounded they shall run to and fro in the city they shall run upon the wall they shall climb up upon the horses the houses they shall enter in at the windows like a thief the earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall utter his voice before his army for his camp is very great for he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible and who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye every even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repenteth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breasts. 
let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the heathen, where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen, but I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the east sea and his hinder part toward the uttermost sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savour shall come up. Behold, he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pasture of the wilderness do spring forth, tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said. And in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Second Thessalonians chapters 1 and 2. Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you 
all toward each other abounded so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which ye also suffer seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you and to you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in a flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all, that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showeth himself that he is a God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And when and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God sendeth them strong delusions that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you brethren 
beloved of the Lord. Because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us, and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work.